you have used social media and what are some times that you did not and how did it kind of differ? How did the results differ? Okay, so when we first started, a lot of stuff was word of mouth. Um, I'm trying to think back to that. Some friends would use, oh, I, I okay, I know what it was. So we had set up a page but I kind of felt uncomfortable about, you know, putting it out there because it was my daughter, so I kind of had other people do it. And then once she was doing better, then I felt like, you know, I want to do this not just for Sophia, but for all the other kids. So I did. I, I would start using social, my own Facebook and things like that. And money just... <laughs> it seemed like it just came pouring in. It was it was a big big difference. So then anytime that anyone had a fundraiser, we would post it, you know, on Facebook. Um, and that's just you know, you can spread the word so much quicker that way. Right? So so I think it's helped tremendously. I mean I, I can't imagine that we would have raised sixty thousand dollars without that because a lot of the people that we got money from were people who learned about the event through Facebook but couldn't be there so they would send money I, I don't know I mean I guess you know you, you could send out an email but it just this seems a lot more effective because it you can post this and then it's it's there and people kind of keep seeing it mm -hmm. you know every time somebody else responds to something it'll show up in a news feed and, um, and then we created a Facebook page for Sophia so people anytime we posted a picture people would then go to the page and then they'd see if we had events coming up and so that was that was really helpful. <laughs> In what ways have you used social media besides just Facebook? Like, how else have you expanded? I'm trying to think if we the like the night page, right? The, on their website, yeah. Does that count? Like a, a yeah, website? anything. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, so the the like the night page. Oh, Caring Bridge, right. We started a Caring Bridge um, page for Sophia, and that's how, what, right when she was diagnosed. And so, if people sort of sign up to get those notifications anytime an entry is placed, then they, um, you know, they get a, a notification and they can go on and read it. And so, we put the events on there as well with a link to her Team Sophia McCall page on Facebook so that people could see. But... I'm trying to think other social media. We didn't really do anything on Instagram or Twitter. Most of just Facebook. We really have Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Explain your most successful event, like the Night Walk, and how how you started with that, how it ended, the outcomes, the hardships, just everything about it. Okay, I'm trying to think. I guess our second like the night walk was our most successful and we because we already sort of had a base from the first one we just encouraged all those people to stay on the team and to recruit more people and to come up with fundraising ideas and everybody was really great about doing that some people did big sales some people did jewelry parties some people did Sweet minerals, um, makeup parties. Someone, um, we had the car wash, yard sale. People just kind of, then it just sort of grew. And so we would post on the Team Sophia McCall page anytime anybody on the team did anything, we would go there. And so I think a lot of people wanted to be included, so um, so they'd come up with a fundraiser, and would get posted, and, um, and so that one. That one just grew. Also, Sophia for the second one was the um, honored hero. So there's a little bit of pressure. <laughs> yes, that was crazy. We were driving to Deep Creek Lake and said there was some LMS something. And we saw her face like on over there. So that's awesome. Yeah, so it was it was kind of funny. But I would say like. Um, if you had to think of obstacles or anything like that, it, that might have been it, like pressure of like having to feel like we needed to um, fundraise um, 
to get through it, but I'm glad that we did because, you know, any amount of fundraising helps the research, which eventually helps kids like Sophia, so it's all good. <laughs>